Hello and welcome PML fans, I am your host Edmund Joe here, and with me I have Izzy, coach of the Midnight Mimicues. Hey Joe, as you happy to be here. Alright Izzy, how you doing today? Uh, pretty good, just trying to survive this heat wave that we have over here in Washington, but it was, it's pretty chill. Oh, okay, well that's good, hopefully the AC's cranking. It is, <laughs> I've seen cranking since this afternoon. <laughs> All right, well, let me go ahead Go ahead and lead off with the first question. What made you want to join a draft league? So I actually didn't know this kind of, like, setup existed until very recently where I had a couple of streamers in Pokemon that I follow uh, actually doing the WBE. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was like, what? This is a thing? <laughs> so I've been, like, watching the WBE and then discovered that there's, like, a lot of people around doing uh, draft leagues, too, on their own. And I was like, damn, how do I, like, get involved in stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And actually, one of the coaches, Devin, uh, randomly found me on YouTube and was like, hey, do you want to, like, feel spot for this? I was like, heck, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I want to give it a try. Obviously, I am I do feel I'm a little bit of the disadvantage being, like, in the late game. But I, I'm all for, like, doing my best. Mm -hmm. And, hey, it's like... I would try giving the other coaches as much of a challenge. We we got some secret strats uh, going on with our team, so I'm pretty excited. All right, so you got kind of a front office working with you as well? Yes, uh, my one of my mods is actually been helping me do the calcs on the side, and yeah, actually he was helping me too like when we're selecting our team. Oh, that's awesome. So that's always good to have a front office get you thinking outside the box. Yeah, no, he, he pretty much is like, I am very bad at calking uh, most of the time, so having him has helped me a lot to prepare for our first battle. Well, that's good. Um, I'm, I am I made the draft league uh, like three years ago, and I kind of was in the same boat as you. I would watch people do it, and I'd always be like, how, did I, how can I get in there? So that's why I kind of made PML so anyone can join, not just YouTubers. But uh, this year is the first ever YouTube draft we've been able to actually hold and start. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah, no, mad respects for like, trying to do that. I host a couple tournaments myself, and it's always kind of hard to like <laughs> time it out and get the people. Oh, yeah. Well, I really appreciate you uh, being able to replace the, the person that had to drop due to technical issues. Yeah, no problem. Happy to be here. All right. And uh, secondly, uh, the second question is, is this your first draft league? And if not, what drew you to PML's draft? It is my first draft league, and I'm super, super nervous. Uh, but I, I'm hoping to, like, give my opponents a good challenge. All right. Um, and you said you had your mod uh, pick out a bunch of your team as well as you – probably had some input in it to it as well yeah yeah so we were looking through what we have uh and then we did base a lot of our choices with what other people potentially also have on their uh team at the moment uh he he did more of the calc section and then we went back and forth like what pokemon we want to choose you want to give him a quick shout out yeah, my mom, Godbury, is the best, and, like, he legit, like, if I didn't have him, I think I would get destroyed by the rest of the coaches, because I, I've been rusty on my singles play. I've been doing too much of uh, VGC doubles this whole time, so having him as my singles coach right now is, is like, a lifesaver. That's awesome. So, whenever y'all put the team together, what did y'all hope to accomplish strategically? Uh, we're hoping to give a good fight. Uh, to our opponents, we we do know that we are a little bit of a disadvantage with a couple of the other coaches if we fight, especially uh, our team is not very fast. Uh, speed control is gonna be like a really struggle for mine, and I just want to give a good fight. Like I don't want to get like six zero or like just like get like destroy. I just mm -hmm. want to do a good fight. Yeah, that's good. Um, and then that brings us to our next question. Uh. Since you didn't actually get to draft your team, um, what Pokemon that you picked up do you think will impact your season the most? Oof, that's a hard one. So, I think Mimikyu. It's going to be very important in a couple of my matches. 
obviously there there's a few where like it, it actually is pretty a weak point but i did notice that no one brought a mole breaker pokemon and Mimikyu used to be very very popular in the meta so mm-hmm. based on what like people chose and not chosen i i think P- Mimikyu is probably going to be a key factor for us all right well that's awesome and obviously it's your mascot and your first pick does that mean it's your favorite pokemon it's not technically my favorite Pokemon. Torchic is my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> um, <laughs> but there's no but Blaziken yet. To, yeah, no Blaziken. We need Crown Tundra coming out. Gen 3 starters are coming back then, and I'm excited when that happens. <laughs> will you change up your logo then? or? I I probably will. If uh, I get reinvited to this, I probably will have Blaziken. We will actually like change. Because, to- yeah, Torchic is my favorite Pokemon. Um, Cinderace actually is uh, another one, but obviously that one got picked up already. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, just fire starters are usually my faves. Oh, yeah, Charizard's mine. That's why I was lucky to, I was able to draft it. <laughs> <laughs> lucky. <laughs> Alrighty. And certainly, um, you did bring up coming back. Uh, we certainly will be doing this annually. So pretty much everyone who is in it right now is always welcome back next season to try to keep it the same. But also, we will try to extend it to 16 coaches next season. Whoa, that actually sounds sick. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, normally our drafts consist of 16 teams, but I could only find so many uh, YouTubers who are actually interested in a draft league. Gotcha, gotcha. Makes sense. All right. Well, that brings us to one of our last questions here. What team do you think will be your biggest challenge this season? I'm not sure if you had time to actually look over other people's teams, but I'm assuming since y'all did some calcs, y'all kind of know more or less uh, the threatening teams out there. So I actually have only looked at my first opponent's team, uh, which is actually like kind of scary because most of his team is way faster than me. I have not actually checked out a couple of the other teams as much just because it's so close to the time and I was like rushing to do a bunch of things. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know who might be my O O snap, but I do know that my first opponent is already a little scary because I have to play really smart. Uh, a lot, His team is very, very strong against me, especially when like I said uh, the speed control over mine versus him. Okay. Do you think you have a Pokemon on your team that could try to flip the speed control? Uh, we do, we do, we do have some uh, secret, secret speed crypts uh, <laughs> that we can try to get over. But like I said, uh, he does also have stuff that can counter those Pokemon. So I'm mm-hmm. gonna, gonna play it very smart. All right. Well, here goes the last question here, and it's kind of to give uh, more insight for viewers who aren't yours a little, to get to know a little bit about you. So it's not Pokemon related either, but. It's a fun question. Most people have enjoyed answering. If you had an obscure superpower, so not the traditional ones, like strength and speed, if you had an obscure superpower that was unique to you, which one would you choose? Does teleportation is obscure enough? Uh, I mean, it's kind of like a real power, but I mean, I'll give it to you. <laughs> I will, yeah, I will love teleportation just because, especially with like these tough times, I just wish I could go see my friends, or I could just go anywhere in the world. Just teleport is like fuck. Um, <laughs> always been loving that. So, yep. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, thank you very much. Any any last words you'd like to leave with the viewers? Um. Well, hopefully, I give you guys good matches. And again, Joe, thank you for having me. I'm really, really excited. Oh, yeah. It's always great to have more people, new people, especially, join in. But alrighty, uh, guys, that's it for Izzy with the Midnight Mimikyus. We will see you guys next time.